Spider-Man, on a scale of one to a billion, how excited are you at the fi Final Fantasy VII Remake? There's a demo, Cloud Squall. You can play a 10-year-old video game that looks better now. How excited are you? Uh, between one and a billion? Yes. Like a five. Okay. <laughs> That's a, yeah, I feel like I'm about the same way. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Don't turn to Rage Time, Jeff. I'm Amanda. Uh, we're going to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best to keep my salt levels below, like, lethal. Uh -huh. You know, like, not so much eating Cheetos. <laughs> more like eating low-sodium Lay's is what we're going to try. So, uh, anyway. Ooh, like, salt-free Pringles? Oh, God, what the? Is that a thing? Probably. Oh, my God. I've got a new least favorite thing in the world. <laughs> Pringles. They're not potato chips, and now they don't even have fucking salt. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Just eat, might as well eat a dry potato. Good Lord. You might as well eat cardboard. <laughs> Hey, look. So, Amanda, what is your experience with Final Fantasy VII? None. Did you play it? Not Never played it? Nuns at all. Great. Nuns I'm glad to have somebody untouched by the hype. What do you think about this lady? She's she pretty. She's seems pretty cool, right? Okay. So, I uh, I think in um, Disney game that has these characters in it. Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. Don't know why I, that word escaped me. Yes. Uh, voiced by Mandy Moore. Oh, Okay. Or something weird like that? That's all I remember. See, for my money, her name is Aerith. Aerith. And, but then, like, I think in the English version, her name was Eris. And then it's just like, it's one of those Ryu, Ryu, just, well, how do you say this motherfucker? And people get real mad when you say it Aww. wrong. Oh, no, my flower. It's all right. It was a fake one. I'm just going to brush it off. She just bites into it. Five second rule. Five second rule. Why does she have a belt on her sleeve? I do. <laughs> All I know about Final Fantasy is like Too random belts. belts, random zippers. Also, look, she's got like epaulets. She's like a major yeah. or like a general. Oh. Oh, oh. okay. Whoa. Bye. It was All nice right. knowing you. See, see ya. Earth. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. The second star to the right shines oh. with... Oh, oh. Mako explosions. What There's is the big Mako reactor. Final Fantasy VII. This is actually, I think, the the way that the original game started. Was it started with her in the street and then it zoomed out was to the big this city? Epic. Yes. Well, I mean, it looked like a PlayStation One game. So. So, it's just a bunch of blurry squares. Well, yeah, kinda. Um, and everyone well, at the time was like, "Ooh, I, there will never be graphics better than this. <laughs> we'll never see a single thing better than this." Oh it's like God. I'm there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> they should have sent a poet. <laughs> And there he is, the main man himself, Squall. He sucks. He's bad. Squall, boo. He's a bad guy. Squall's number two. Zach's number one. Actually, Squall's number like we 500. Have teams, Team Squall, Team Zach. I'm Team Zach, but nobody ever talks about Zach because he's a Lego maniac. Then you got these guys. This is fucking Sam Fisher's over here. Three eyeballs. It doesn't even go over their eyes. It's yeah, like that looks like it'd be really uncomfortable. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Wah. Is somebody choking? Oh. Oh. oh, right in the Jimmy Johns. Oh, no. My sub. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. All right. Skinny guy. Sideways the girl. hat. Is that a sideways hat or is that a bandana with um, uh, hair flipping I out? I think that's a bandana. And there's Barrett. Get down here, Merc. He's a big, he's a big guy. That's a big sword. That's a, <laughs> a berserk-style sword. Yep. Why has he got screws in his shoulder? That's just the way things are. D is it screwed into his shoulder? No, no. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's. Uh, so this game is really pretty. Like in all the yeah. times that I've talked about it, like I think that this is really pretty. Uh, it looks really oh. good in 4K. We're playing it, you know, there. obviously 1080 for the, str for the recording. Right. But yeah. Uh, like real nice, right? All the like the lighting engines. Oh yeah, for sure. So then this is the thing that's a little weird to me is that, uh, like you know, the original was like, you, you got three guys stand on one side, three guys stand on the other side, and they attack, right? But in this one, it's like this is like real real time combat where you like, you can hit the square button or you can hold down the square button, and it all takes place in real time. So, um, I'm I'm still real up in the air about this as a mechanic because. Mm -hmm. This is going to be like the first of three 90-hour RPGs or something because they're breaking Final Fantasy VII up into multiple parts. 
And I don't know if I want to have to hold down the square button to attack for 90 hours, but... Fun. Just tape the button down. Yes. <laughs> Done. Solved. Why do you even bother putting that thing away? You think sometimes he uh, he wangs Freeze. his head when he, he takes it? <laughs> so he used to have really long hair, but every time he pulls his sword out, he just cuts off a little more. Oh, yeah. So you see down at the bottom that little gauge, little blue gauge? Yes. When that fills up, you can uh, you can stop. You can basically pause the game. It goes in, like, super slow motion, and you can use an ability. You can use, like, spells. You can use abilities. Um, we'll do, let's I'm do sorry, spell. focus thrust was one of those focus thrusts. Do you want to see a, a focus thrust? I mean. You see what that's all about? Do it on that security <laughs> officer. Wow. Oh, uh, disappointing. Yeah. Expected something a lot more sexual. Yes, 100%. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah, you can go into the menu. You can do all kinds of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Um, ooh, clear icicle, mineral water. Do you think they get the, the water from icicles? What's I this? I mean, I would hope so. Red Lord energy drink. Oh, man. Why does it have a bomb on it? Those things are lethal. <laughs> you want that kind of bomb energy? You want like, that bomb ass energy? Hey, check out our new cherry flavored coronavirus Mountain Dew. Uh. It's the best. <laughs> Drop the weapon. Ugh. Why are <laughs> any. No one else is doing it. Oh, we're a mercenary. So these guys are like eco terrorists that have been high and they're, they're trying to blow up this power plant. Um,. So we can with block us. with R1, which I guess isn't really super necessary. Try harder. Uh, you can also, like, <laughs> dodge. They just kick directly into the thing you're using to block. Yep. There's also, uh, you can switch between Punisher mode and Operator mode. And Punisher mode has, like, a stronger attack, but you see how you, like, walk all slow and shit. Yeah. But, like, you do a lot more big-ass attacks. So. Them. Uh, let's, uh, let's do, let's braver, braver man. Uh, let's get out of operator mode. So, I actually played through a little bit of this before we started, which should be obvious by me knowing all the different stuff that's happening. <laughs> uh, merging innovation with creation and what we do for Midgar and for you. This poster looks like it was made in Photoshop in like 2002. I mean. I don't know. Which is pretty good because the game was made in 1997. It's, was it 19? It, was I don't it? know. It had a little 1997. Oh, yeah, problem. I guess it was. Maybe I wonder when it came to the States, but it was 97 or 98. I remember I played through it. Um, I played through this entire game with my roommate. We like took turns. Uh, and then we got to the part at the end of the game where you have to beat like Ruby Weapon and stuff. And we were like, nah, don't want to. <laughs> I'm done uh, with this game. Well, we stopped for a long time and got bored, and then my friend's girlfriend started playing the game, and she started getting real cocky about how she was going to beat the game before we beat the game. And I said, "I can, we can beat the game whenever we want to. We're on the last boss, and we're super overpowered. We're just trying to do all the side stuff. And she was like, nuh uh. And I was like, yeah. -huh. And she was like, well, then prove it, big mouth. And I was like, OK. And then I took 90 minutes and beat the game. So uh, why are these guys so wearing medieval armor? Because they're knights. He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Jerk. Cloud, Cloud Strife. Right. Oh. And he's in the his name the was war. Cloud? Still, he's a professional, <laughs> unlike the rest of us. He had hippie parents, okay? <laughs> we'll just name him Cloud. Cloud. This is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. I don't want, I'm not, I didn't come here to make friends. No matter how much lipstick you wear. <laughs> Okay, I don't care whose fantasy this is. Somebody in the Discord said that everybody in Avalanche was wearing jorts, and I don't think that's true. I think they're all wearing cargo pants. Yeah, cargo that, pants and jorts are two different things. That's a different thing. Discord. Cargo pants are allowed. Jorts are apparently not allowed, so. Uh, I want to say it was like BuzzFeed posted a thing about, like, why grown men shouldn't wear cargo pants or cargo shorts. Oh, yeah, that was, that was some horse shit. Yeah. That was like two years ago uh -huh. where they were like, Cargo shorts are out. Oh, what do you need Come to keep on. in all your you pockets? I'm like, uh, cigarettes, wallet, cell phone, keys, they lighter. A I'm a man. Reason. I have you know what things. I it's funny that it's oh. like, well, how come women's clothing don't have more pockets? And then guys have a bunch of pockets. And they're like, Ugh, what do you need all those pockets for? <laughs> all my shit, BuzzFeed. <laughs> God damn it. Which? Uh. Yep. I think that there's... Um, I think the two of the Avalanche guys are named Biggs and Wedge, mm -hmm. which are uh, Star Wars. Star Wars. Every last gill. 
I don't know how much of a good idea it is to have these guys super seriously talking about this fantasy world stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I love, Amanda? I love it when, like, books or TV shows set in alternate universes, they'll do, like, um, uh, like they, they take, like, modern sayings and then turn them into, like, the fantasy version of that. Yeah. Um, like, you bet your last mega credit. You're like, okay. Get him, boy. Oh, shit. Guard it's dogs. A dog. It's a oh. wolf. Oh, no. You're hurting a doggy. So that's another one of the things. You see the little orange bar uh -huh. below the yellow bar is for some enemies, um, you have to stagger them first. And then once you've got them staggered, then you can do. Cool. Like, so you have to make the dog lay down before you murder it? Yes. Like that's. Not comforting. You're not, you're not a big fan of that one? No, uh, not particularly. Okay, I'm walking up like fucking Jason Voorhees. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. Guys, I don't think you have enough particle effects in this game. I think we might need more sparkly More orbs. sparkles. Uh, well, it breaks up the, like, gray area that you're in right now. Yeah. It's kind of just... Hey, wait. It, can we stay together? Or, like, what's the deal? Thanks, Wedge. Love you. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. We gotta search for, search for boxes full of magic treasure chests. Hope there's not a box full of sparkles in here. Oh man, so many sparkles. So much Mako energy. <laughs> I like the way he just f slid right across the ground to get to that uh, switch. I think it's best not to question it. So uh, I should actually <laughs> take a minute while we're doing this. I'll switch it back. But so. One of the things that they've been talking about is that there's another way to play this game where you can switch it from uh, to what's called classic. And in classic mode, your character automatically attacks. Um, so they'll automatically both attack and defend. And all you're in charge of in classic mode is activating like the special attacks and stuff mm. and doing magic. Um, uh, now, I don't know if in the main game it's going to be like this, but in this in the demo, um, whenever you, whenever you put it into classic, it also puts the game on easy. So. Not so fast. Uh, you've got company. Well, you've got a gun. Help me out. A bunch of dudes and dogs and all kinds of stuff happening. Like a, I mean, that looks like a cat. Dog cat. Looks like an Anubis. Cat dog. Um, so if I just like, I'm just gonna not. I'm, I'm not touching the controller at all right I'm now. Not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching you. <laughs> um, so, but then once you've like got stuff, you can. You can activate, uh, once you build up the little meter, you can activate stuff. You can activate potions and limit breaks and stuff like that. Um, it's an interesting Let's mode. Go. I think it's supposed to be like a nod to people who wanted a turn-based mode. Yeah. It doesn't really feel very much like a turn-based mode. Yeah, so it didn't look like one. I'm going to turn it back. The other thing is that you can, at any time, basically take over control of, the, uh, of it. So you can, if you hit the square button, you'll start attacking. You can override the auto the automation and just mm. do what you want to so uh what was that i got a moogle medal the fuck is a moogle medal i don't know what's a moogle a moogle oh man you do not know what a moogle is no i have no zero's experience sir what's a moogle medal that's a moogle right there that oh guy. it's like a teddy, like a bear, teddy bear with bat, bat wings with a, a little poofy on his doodle head? bob coming off the top of its head huh popular item amongst collectors. If we collect all the Moogle medals, I hear that it unlocks the entire game today. And you can just play it right now. Are you just saying that to get people to search for Moogle medal? No. Uh, I don't care if people play this game or not. <laughs> it's a demo. I mean, you know, you do you. Do you. you have your have your life. Uh, let's see. So yeah, you also have this kind of little... Um, if you hold down L1, you can set this like that little panel that's like hot like a hot bar of stuff. Uh, okay. Okay. That's so exciting. Yep. Heading on heading on down to that macro reactor. One of the things I actually really like about this uh, is you see the little green dot on the back of his sword? Yeah, I was just going to ask about that. So in this world, the, one of the gameplay systems in this is there's a stuff called Materia. Materia is what allows you to cast spells and stuff like that. And um, what, are you, what are you doing? You just, you just going to chill? I'll secure our escape route, okay? Oh. On and catch up with the others. Okay. Look, he's also wearing, like, like exercise pants under his jorts. Yeah. That's no good. Sometimes like, you got to wear compression shorts. Uh, 
but like in the in the game, the way you learn spells is you equip a materia, and then when you use it, you'll eventually learn a thing, and then you can unequip it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it looks like they've got some kind of like visual representation of what that actually is on the sword. I don't know if Barrett so has it may too, on but command, but I hear they make good god dogs too. Bet what? you've seen a few reactors. I so mean, how do we get to the bridge above that's a strange thing to say to a person. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm mildly bothered by the they no sleeves turtleneck you. thing that's going on with Cloud. Uh huh. Stamp scared to bite the hand. Like you cold or you not cold? Or is he a loyal little doggy? Oh. Have it your way, mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Barrett, you need to it's calm a different layout. down. Depends when it was built. Calm like this, down. But I'll manage. Okay. Open, open the, open the door. Can we open the door? You want to open the door? Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Okay. Why did we stop? In three, two. Damn, I'm good. Oh. Okay. All right. Mm. I kind of expected that we would have to like find a key or something, but. Nope. Oh, wait. oh no. They've locked me in here. <laughs> He's like, eh, mildly That's inconvenienced. I can't say, I mean, John and I have been talking a lot of shit about this game. Uh -huh. um, that I am a little bit more excited after playing this than I was at just watching the screenshots. Um, I just, my whole thing is that I really like Final Fantasy, and I've been waiting forever for them to make a new one, and they keep making Kingdom Hearts and remakes and sequels and spinoffs and MMOs and not just like mainline entries into the franchise. Yeah. So um, are we? Are you happy now? Okay, well, I guess I'll stop murdering everybody because you guys get stuck behind doors and shit. Yeah, you know how Cloud is just like super emotional and, and like, ah! He's always you need to calm down, Cloud, calm down! Talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. And we're good. All right. Careful in there. I actually got like the tiniest gun in the world. I like that they're both cosplaying as Rambo, <laughs> like bandanas. Maybe they just maybe they they uh, they like robbed. Uh, they were trying to rob like a, a Shinra supply <laughs> thing, and they just got a bunch of bandanas <laughs> instead. Like, well, we're gonna use them. <laughs> we got them now. <laughs> Three men died to get this trans this <laughs> shipment. <laughs> Everybody put on a goddamn bandana. I know they're stupid so looking. You know Tifa, right? It's yeah. not really my business, but are you guys close? None of your business. <laughs> oh. That's when people ask me personal questions. I, oh. you just you do the dot dot dot. And I. Fucked straight up, fucked. Touched booties, high fived. That just seemed unnecessary. Handheld. J nothing. No. Nope. Cool. All right. Did we lose Biggs along the way? I guess. All right. Well, bye. I don't, I don't I know where he went. Uh oh. What's going on up here? Nah 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 nah. Is that a pirate? I don't believe so. I think that's the CEO of the company. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. Now, that's the CEO, the old guy. Okay. This guy is... His pirate friend. His pirate friend. Heidegger! <laughs> God, look at the number of belts on that guy's jacket. Seriously, he's very secure. <laughs> that's how you know how successful people are in this universe. <laughs> how many belts. Inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. He just like this leaned over so all like cash. Just drain the planet dry while you sleep, while you eat, while you shit. It's here sucking up Marco. While I'm shitting? It <laughs> and it doesn't care. You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Don't care. Barrett is. Marco is the lifeblood of our world. He's a little dramatic. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. Dude, dude you, you, you don't know if I bleed red, gone, first of all. Huh? Answer me! No, you're being really unruly. You, you told me <laughs> to calm down. <laughs> I feel like he's doing a promo for a wrestling yeah. spot. Holy shit. <laughs> Damn straight I do. I'll see you this Sunday, Cloud, in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> oh, shit. Say that again. Say what one more goddamn time. We're here. I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. He's a, screaming for he's a mercenary. You guys hired him. He doesn't give a shit. Except but the planet bleeds green like we bleed red. Yeah. Uh-oh. You want the new beginning? I am the new beginning. <laughs> I 
our lives are on the line now. Yes. Oh, they weren't before? With the guys with machine guns? Oh, I forgot. You guys ran away the entire time. Hey, don't point that thing at me. At least I know that you got a... Never mind. I was going to say, at least I know you have a full clip in your arm, but... There are some places a sword just can't reach. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't want to put my sword there. You're with him for me, would you? No. Do I fucking know you? You're too chipper. You guys are the worst. Yeah, more money. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to find me some more belts. I think the idea that these things are just the, the Shinra equivalent of those, like, dipping uh, water birds that you keep <laughs> on your table. So, okay, uh, instead of controlling a party in this game, you can switch out. between the, the different characters in your party. So you can literally uh, switch between Cloud and Barrett, and then when you're Barrett, you can do... The pew, pew, pew. You can do the pew, pews. Uh, you can also do this super shot uh, that... Like, it takes a little bit of time to to recharge. Um, and then you've got limit attacks where you can do, like, a focus shot. Zanga. And then also, uh, Barrett's got a little bit more. He's definitely got the healing magic. I don't really understand why, but. Yeah. Eh. yeah. And then you can also uh, tell Cloud to, like, do stuff uh, in this, like, tactical Man up, mode. Cloud. What? Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Uh, what the fuck are those? It looks like octopus unicorns coming after you. Uh, so let's see. Let's do spells, cure, and Cloud needs some curing. Let's put some cures on him. There he goes. And then we can make Cloud do braver on Mana Drive A right in front of him. So. Yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting system, but it is it is kind of hectic. Like it's a little bit more chaotic than um, yeah. than the the definitely. I feel like it's really easy. There's some game types like uh, like um, turn-based RPGs or like side scrollers or racing games that I feel like it's really easy for anybody to just get a handle on without having to read like 18 pages worth of uh, tutorial. What? Those are some really like haphazardly placed laser things. Let me just climb on top of that. Shipping container. You've done this kind of thing before. Oh, now we have to assume that I'm able to climb up those things. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. So says I'm I've been murdering people this whole time. You need me to get my blood pumping? Uh, I don't know. All right. Uh. You know, when I build my evil lair, I'm going to have the lasers, and they're not going to turn off uh, at any point. I'm just not going to monologue. When I have my on. evil lair, I'm just going to fucking gonna murder the good guy. Yeah. I'm going to have vents that are way too small for anybody to get into, for a human being to go into, because, like, air doesn't need a people-sized vent. So yeah. um, that, that'll be a thing. I'm okay. sorry, I can't hear you. Christmas You're... lights. <laughs> <laughs> We're decorated for Christmas. Sorry for being in the holiday spirit. Ugh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, these ones have like a little bit of a oh. party cycle. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Nice job, Cloud. Wow, Cloud, you really ran through that super well. There's also, they've got, like, gigantic holes between them. I yeah, feel like we could, could just turn sideways, Cloud. You could fit, but that big old dude couldn't. Well, I think he just got, he got he, zotzed by them anyway. He's been getting hit by them. You can hear it in the background. Ah. Not a scratch. Now, on to the objective. Well, he, let's give, oh my god, he's like half health. Yeah. Have a potion, you dick. Yelling at me about calming down. Stop running to lasers, Barrett. Uh oh, it's the ED two oh nine. Yeah. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Yeah. Oh, it's my least favorite comeback ever. It's like. Not if that I. That thing's gonna wreck you, man. Not if I wreck it first. Yeah. What's up? Is that right? That's. <laughs> oh, okay, we need to hit it with magic. Okay, well that's different. So one of the things I don't like about this is that you do in order to use magic, you actually have to. Um, 
uh, you have to have one of those little blue bars, right? Which yeah. is kind of different than previous Final Fantasies, right. where like if you had a mage, you just use down. magic whenever you feel like it. Um, let's see, does he have? Uh, he's got thunder. Let's hit him with some lightning. Oh god, he's feeling pressured, just like me. Oh no. Sweeper, do you need to upload some videos to YouTube, and are they not rendering correctly? Because <laughs> if so, like, man, I get Relatable. you. I got you. Wow. Wow. All right. Um, so, wait, did that mean that you played Kingdom Hearts? No, I watched my brother play for a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Like the first oh, one. Don't need to tell me twice. I'm going to enjoy this. Were you concerned that you had somebody that also played Kingdom Hearts? That you've been keeping your your secret Kingdom Hearts addiction? Uh, yeah, oh, uh, me and Matt Frank are going to do a full sequential of Kingdom Hearts. I'm just kidding. That's never going to happen. <laughs> the whole time I'd be like, where are the Disney characters? Why is Goofy dressed so weird? Uh... Well, I don't know. I mean, do you have you do you do any JRPGs? No. Uh, I don't think so. I, I mean, no. Unless Pokemon counts. I think Pokemon. I think Pokemon counts. Okay, Pokemon's the only one. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of like video games, and I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what? I'm not really. <laughs> I don't really like all that much. <laughs> The thing that we're doing right now. I just don't know why I'm here anymore, <laughs> Jeff. No, I just, uh, I've never really been, like, enticed by JRPG. I, uh, Final Fantasy is one that people are always very like, you need to play, you got to try. And I just, it never appealed to me. And it seems like one of those games that I could put my all, just, like, spend an entire day, I'm going to focus in on this. And yep. I would have no idea what I was doing two hours later. Like, it just doesn't click. I think you should start by playing Final Fantasy XIII because it's like one of the least regarded ones. So if you have no frame of reference, you'd be like, hey, this is pretty good. And be like, oh, it only gets better from here. I've actually thought I have I desperately want to do a full sequential for Final Fantasy XIII Part Two because I think it is a criminally underrated video game. Huh. But like, it's also 60 hours long and- Okay, I uh, will do the sequential with you, but only if I'm playing the whole time. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, God. Final Fantasy <laughs> 13 2 is kind of amazing because unlike a lot of the JRPGs where you have three three people in your party, yeah. in that game you have two people in your party, and then the third one is one of the monsters that you have Pokemon-style capture, oh. raised, added, like, um, like set up with specific attacks and tactics and stuff. So that third the third uh, slot in your party you can switch between. And then Final Fantasy 13. Oh. Okay, I was just trying to get the chest. Ow, words hurt, girl whose name I don't know. Listen, Jesse, go get James and fucking Meowth, all right? Uh. Um, uh, so, yeah, it's like you got two people in your party and then you got the third one. But I like the Final Fantasy XIII because uh, Final Fantasy XIII like, was a very auto-battle system where everything auto battle, but then what you did was you would set each person in your party to like a different, um, like a different stop or different um, job. Yeah. So like you would set one person to be like the healer. Yeah. And then you set one person to be the attacker and then one person to do debuffs. And then what you would do is you would switch your party between these different macros in order to have different like, here's a whole party that's made to um, like, uh, taunt and debuff and then once the character has been debuffed then we're going to go full out dps etc etc and i thought it was a great evolution of the um, of the final fantasy franchise because we've been doing this whole like okay everybody attack and then you attack and then i'm going to hit the x button four times yeah and then we're going to be done so then what's the negative thing like what don't people like that it's criminally underrated well, the f okay, Final Fantasy XIII 2 is the sequel to Final Fantasy XIII. Final Fantasy XIII is in a lot of ways regarded as one of the weakest of the Final Fantasy franchise. Would you agree with that? Um, I think it's a little overblown how much people hate it, but I do get why they hate it. Mm -hmm. um, the main character is Lightning, and Square has this thing for stoic main characters that I think, I don't know if they just, because it, it was Cloud, and he's like very stoic and very like, moody and very just kind of like 
dark, brooding emo boy. Mm -hmm. And then there was Squall, and he was very brooding and very shitty and very just kind of like, I don't like anybody or anything. Bleh. And then um, and then Lightning was kind of like that. So they've had a, a real run of brooding. It's a trend. Protagonist. Yeah. Um, and then the entire game was a hallway. You literally like walked from one side of the game to the other side of the game, and right before the game. I mean, PT. Well, right before the game ended, it actually opened up into this one area that you could explore. But like, there were no towns. The shops were uh, safe. They were shops were built into the save points. So when you went to save your game, you also bought all the things yeah. you needed. You didn't interact with hardly any NPCs in the game, and people were just like. But this is not what I want. I want like this big open like talking to people right. thing. Let's see if I get that. Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. What? Stampers in this Go game? On. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. Set this that bomb on this us. thing. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Yeah. Literally this whole time I've been saying I am not. Then do the damn job. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to set Set your leftovers on that counter. Okay. Put them in the fridge. Here we go. Watch me. That's <laughs> very sinister, Barrett. <laughs> You're making me uncomfortable, Barrett. Ow, my head. Ouchie. Ow. I'm allergic to feathers. <gasps> it's the one wing angel. There's a professional wrestler named Kenny Omega. Uh-huh. Whose finishing move is called the one wing and angel? Oh, there you go. Specifically because of Final Fantasy, because of specifically Sephiroth. because he's a fucking right nerd. You nerd, fucking oh. nerd. So, should we set our timer for twenty minutes or thirty minutes? Um, I, is there a right answer? I think you get some some. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Uh, this is like the time you need to escape. You have to escape. Oh, yeah, twenty um, minutes. Uh oh, uh oh. You double crossing. So was it, dude? You are. You should have gotten somebody else for this job if you were so busy about me. Yeah, seriously. Cyber Scorpion. Holy shit! That thing's okay. Huge. Well, you know what, Amanda? We're gonna wrap it up. Oh, okay. We're gonna do 30 minutes because I think with the other 30 minutes is gonna be the kind of the whole end of it. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. In the meantime, Patreon.com forward slash Rage Slide helps out with kicking us some bucks, and we'll kick you bonus videos. And it'll be great, and everybody will love it, and you'll love it, we'll love it, and, and everybody you can loves it. Join the Discord and hang out with us and yeah. chit -chit, chitty chat. Uh, you can tell us all the reasons Final Fantasy VII is the greatest game of all time. I'm gonna be like, eh, nah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Also, we're going to have some Amazon links down below where you can buy stuff. If you buy Final Fantasy, I'm going to put Final Fantasy VII Remake pre-order down there. But if you want to, you could just buy a boombox um, or something. Heck yeah. And uh, we'll get a little piece of that. So, anyway, join us back here tomorrow. Oh, shit. The Scorpion Sentinel is killing Barrett. We'll be back tomorrow to find out what happens. Oh, no. Oh, God.